Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to welcome you after the summer break uh, to our international economics and final class that we're gonna have together uh, this semester. And in this first video, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about this course. Uh, and I'm gonna start with some main information then I'm going to describe the textbook we are going to use uh, over this course. Uh, then I'm gonna explain how your grade is going to be calculated. And finally, in the last part of the video, uh, I will show you what we are going to do and what we are going to learn in this course. So, as you all know, my name is Krzysztof Beck and my email is krzysztof.beck at lazarski.pl and my office hours are every th uh, Thursday from 10.30 till 11.30 uh, a.m. Uh, finally, uh, the, the, the password to the sub uh, for this class is IEF2020. Uh, uh, on the sub you will find all the presentations, uh, data sets, and code we're going to use over this entire uh, course. Uh, so, I think uh, uh, I think we can uh, move on to the next part, the textbook. Look, the textbook we are going to use uh, 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 is uh, uh, International Economics Theory, Application and Policy. And it was uh, and it was written by uh, Charles van Maverick. I strongly recommend reading the textbook. This subject is not easy. You're gonna see here a lot of the things that you have not seen before in any of the economics classes, because in international economics, we very often approach things uh, in a little bit different way. Uh, than in closed economy approach. So definitely get the book either from library or on the internet by, but you need to read it. We will not have enough time to cover everything and the book is really well written. Uh, it's very interesting, full of, uh, 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 full of comments and examples that we could not possibly fit uh, into the course. Okay, so how uh, 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 how w you will be graded? So your grade will depend on two components. The first component, worth thirty percent of your total grade, is an individual project. Uh, individual project uh, is a paper you will have to write. It's about gravity model of trade that we are actually going to discuss very soon. But uh, this project will be marked by your workshop teacher, uh, Jana Okrimenko, who you know very well. And she will explain the details of this project. And uh, remember that about all the, uh, everything we say about uh, fair practices, copyright, but of course, Jana uh, will make sure that there's no plagiarism in any of the works. Okay, the part of the course for which I am responsible uh, uh, is your final exam. And your final exam is worth 60% of your uh, final grade. And in the final exam, you will have four open questions. The two questions from the final exam will be about international trade and another two about in, uh, international macroeconomics or finance, depend how you look at it. But uh, as I will show you uh, in, another, uh, in another two slides, this is basically how your course is divided. The first part of the course is concerned with international trade and the real part 
of the economy, while the second part of the course is concentrated on no, on nominal uh, uh, on nominal uh, uh, nominal variables, so uh, exchange rates, uh, uh, pass through of interest rates, and so forth. All those topics we will be discussing in the second part of the course. So basically, as you see, uh, the final exam is balanced and you need to, of course, get 40% out of each component, at least to pass. So finally, what we are going to learn about? Well, during the first lecture, we're going to cover the overview of the world economy. I want to show you uh, I want to show you what are the trends in global data and global indicators that are most crucial for understanding of the global economy. And then we're going to do uh, the most popular uh, empirical model of, of trade, which is gravity model of trade. And this one we're going to do very soon, uh, I think, in two videos. Then uh, the first part of the class, as you see over here, is concentrated uh, with, uh, with international trade. We're going to start with Ricardian models, uh, with Ricardian model of trade. This is, this is the model that, uh, that underlines differences in technology between countries as the main sources uh, of the of international trade. This model uh, is very, very old, but still we can get a lot of uh, valuable insights into, uh, uh, into, the, uh, uh, into international trade. Then we're going to move uh, to neoclassical model of trade. And here, maybe uh, this part will be the most complicated part of the course. Oh, I'm sorry. Why is that? Uh, because what we're going to do in this part uh, is that we're going to build a very small artificial economy. This is going to be a general equilibrium model uh, in which we have uh, companies, customers, and uh, in two different countries that interact with each other and we will see how those interactions are leading to the trade flows between countries. But of course, uh, remember, nobody is going to expect from you to be able to derive, uh, the, uh, derive the full general equilibrium model on the test, but definitely I want you to know how the model works and you need to know the main conclusions that can be taken from this model. In the next part, we're going to move to trade policy. So basically tariffs, subsidies and other uh, policy measures that can be used to influence trade. And we're going to see how those measures are influencing welfare of different actors uh, in the global economy. Uh, then we're going to move to new trade theories because uh, well, I don't want to get into details of that at the moment. But of course, neoclassical model of trade is also very old. Oh, we can, depending on how you measure it, uh, which part of it you consider is about 80 years old. And since then, uh, economics, of course, developed quite a lot. And uh, we've learned a lot more about international trade. But the, uh, there is a lot of new trade theories. We do not have enough time to consider them all. Of course, Jana will focus on different things during the workshops. Uh, than I will during uh, the lectures, and in the lectures we will put uh, uh, we will concentrate most on the consequences of monopolistic competition and resulting intra-industry trade. 
Finally, we will finish. Uh, uh, we will finish uh, uh, the part of the course about uh, international trade by discussion of international trade organizations, and uh, we will uh, also discuss uh, the economic integration processes that are happening right now in the global economy. Now, the second part of the course is associated with international macroeconomics. In here, we will start uh, by reviewing the monetary part of the economy, and then we will jump into balance of payments, where we will explain, we will learn how different transactions between agents from uh, different economies uh, are reported in the balance of payments and how this influence exchange rate. And the exchange rate will actually be the main thing we're gonna, uh, we're gonna discuss within this entire course, in this part of the course. So in the next part, we will discuss different foreign exchange markets. We'll be talking about uh, forward and spot exchange rates. Probably you don't know the distinction from any other classes at the moment, but we will explain it uh, in much detail. Uh, the, uh, uh, the fundamentals between uh, 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 behind exchange rates in form of purchasing power parity and interest rate uh, parity will also be explained in very much detail and we will uh, spend a lot of time understanding uh, how how they work then we will move to exchange rate regimes mainly the classification but of course in the models we're going to be using over the course we will concentrate on either flexible or fixed exchange rate. Sometimes those fixed exchange rates can be in the forms of currency, common currency, but about this later. Then we will move a little bit to models of uh, exchange rate uh, determin de determination. Well, we will start with the long run model or monetary model of exchange rate when as you will, you can even expre expect from the name, uh, exchange rate is treated as solely monetary phenomenon. So uh, exchange rate must be, uh, must reflect the differences in money supply or money supply growth. Of course, in the real world, it's a little bit more complicated because we have many countries, different central banks uh, uh, follow different strategies the expense in monetary base a different phase plus uh, in this model we are assuming a lot of things are going very very smoothly which is not of course the case in the real world of uh, and uh, and for this part we will move back a little bit to uh, later to short run considerations of exchange rates uh, and how they are determined and we will consider this all uh, uh, on the basics of uh, of short run models of economic policy that even though are still also very old because they are 60 years old we can say they describe the reality really really well and finally we will uh, in the last part we will include expectations and sticky prices into the model to get a more realistic model that shows us what is happening actually between the short and the long run and actually i think uh, this will be it uh, even though uh, we are mostly concentrating on exchange rates. There's going to be a lot of material and actually we're going to have to touch a lot of different subjects to understand what is happening in there. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say 
uh, is that in this course, I will use a lot of real life uh, er, examples. We're gonna do empirical models. We're gonna estimate stuff econometrically because this is, uh, I believe this is really important to see the difference between what the theory predicts and what actually uh, happens in the real world. Okay, so thank you for your attention. In the next movie, we will start uh, the regular course. I hope you're gonna enjoy it and I hope you're gonna learn a lot of interesting things during. Take care.